Hi hey there, welcome to edupediaworld.com. You're watching the videos on constructions. Now, in this video, I will discuss the introduction to construction. And first of all, it's the first video of construction and construction topic. However, not widely used nowadays in mathematics because of the computer automation, whatever we can say. But construction is very useful to read and very useful to know the concepts of construction because it would be really helpful when you draw maps and everything if you have to draw like any building or you have to construct a road or bridge however any kind of projection you need to make you need to know the concept of construction so in this video we'll discuss some of the introduction to construction why we need to learn more about construction what is the use how we can use the different instruments and what are the various types of instruments we need to make uh, the construction okay so let's get started with our first topic and which is introduction now Introduction says that in earlier chapters, the diagrams which were necessary to prove theorem or solving exercise were not necessarily precise. Like, like say if we are doing congruency, let's say we have two triangles, let's say A, B and C, let's say we have another triangle P, Q, R. Now let's say triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. Now, if these two triangles are congruent, then they should be exactly same size and same, let's say, same projections, whatever we can say. Now, but however, if you see at the figures or the diagrams, the diagrams are not precise. Like say, this is larger, kind of larger than this or the diagrams are not exactly the same. So, to make the diagram exactly the same or precise, we need to do the diagrams or we need to draw the diagram through the concepts of construction so that's why we need to learn more about the construction now so they were drawn only to give you feeling like say it's it's like you are just feeling that they these are congruent they should be of the same size however when you see on the screen they are not exactly the same size but you have a feel that they should be equal or they should be of the same size now and as and as eight for proper reasoning like say if you are feeling for let's like say for just for reasoning or logical reasoning that these are of the same size now so let's discuss some of the instruments which are used to do the construction now the construction let's say a graduated square on one side of which centimeters and millimeters are marked let's say you must have seen a scale like this let's say like this so we need a scale or foot roller whatever you say it and on the other side inches and the their parts are marked off generally we use centimeters and millimeters right so it is a general use like we only need a centimeters or millimeters scale now a pair of set squares we have a set square in geometry box any geometry box you can buy from the local market or any any place you like or whatever stationary shop you have nearby now one with angles 90 degree 60 degree and 30 degree now these are the these are the basic angles we should know so some of the basic angles are 60 degree 30 degree 90 degree and 120 degree also so these are some some of the basic angles you need to know or uh, you can use set square so there are different set square a pair of divider and pair of compass now let me uh, distinguish between what is a divider and a compass in a compass you have one pointed end and one pencil end and in divider you have both pointed and so this is a difference between divider and compass and second and the last is you need protector uh, which is a very important I'm I'm sure you must all know what is a protector right now so let's discuss one more thing why we need to learn more about the construction so let's say you have to construct a house now to construct a house you need to first have a, let's say blueprint blueprint or you can say you need to draw a map on paper so so to have exact measurements 
exact measurements so to have exact measurements so that you can draw the proper house or let's say we have another example let's say government wants to construct a road and to construct a road first they need to draw a blueprint so that if each and every calculation is done beforehand right so let's say they want to construct a road like this now on a map they mark and they construct and they use a scaling let's say they use scaling like one centimeter equals to one kilometer so let's say if this is 20 centimeter this means on a actual road it should be 20 kilometers so if they know the concept of construction and if an engineer who is drawing a road or who is constructing a road or who is heading a project knows the concepts of construction then he can draw he or she can draw the exact map of the road so that's why we need to learn about the construction so thank you once again for watching this video on edupediaworld.com keep watching for the videos have a nice day ahead